Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about the most nauseating moments on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 1. Assist within assist. Assist within assist. Dr. P treated the man she dubbed the Pimple Popper Museum on the most recent episode of her show because he had a head full of cysts that contained secret cysts within them. Ken, a 35 year old from Polk County, Florida, visited Dr. P's Upland Clinic with pillar cysts ranging in size from a pea to a golf ball. Ken revealed in the program that he first spotted the cyst when he was 19 years old. He's discovered one or two additional cysts on his head every year after Afterward. Ken claims that he grew his hair and beard to hide the cysts and that he stopped attending to the gym because he was embarrassed. He's also attempted but failed to pop them himself. These bumps have definitely made me feel more melancholy. My work and my self-esteem have suffered as a result. Ken acknowledged the Dr. Bimble Popper that he tried to get rid of his cysts with a safety pin and his own fingers. Lee said he knew how helpless he felt in those situations, but popping and picking at cysts might lead to infection, a larger cyst, or more difficult treatment process. Irritated cysts, according to Lee, generate more scar tissue and refill with a more liquefied fluid, making it more difficult to completely eliminate the growth. When Dr. P first started treating Ken, she observed this. She used an injectable medication to numb his cyst before slicing into the middle of a golf ball sized cyst near the back of his head. She carefully squeezed against the incision, allowing thin looking blood and yellow pus to drain. This was a telltale sign, according to Lee, that she had manhandled the gross at home. Dr. P was able to detect the cyst in her sac when she needed to remove it in order to prevent the cyst from growing further. She was able to close the wound and cut open the next cyst, which turned out to be two in one. Ken's DIY therapy, according to Lee, resulted in proliferating resulted in a proliferating pillar cyst, which is an inflammatory cyst that produces another cyst next to it. When Dr. P examined the gross two sacs, she exclaimed, he's a booger. Despite this, she was able to stitch up Ken and remove both growths. Lee successfully removed three of Ken's seven cysts after a few incisions, squeezes, and squirts. Number 2. Gray Pus Filled Cheek Cyst Dr. P helped a man with a cheek cyst loaded with thick gray pus in a recent video because the cyst was inches from the man's mouth. The treatment was risky. It was an epidermoid cyst, which formed when skin cells burrow beneath the skin. Epidermoid cysts usually grow slowly and are not unpleasant. According to Dr. Pimple Popper, they're filled with a cheese-like pus that can smell and sometimes become irritated. With a handkerchief, Lee covered the man's eyes, leaving just his nose, mouth, and leaving just his nose, mouth, and cheek visible. She also used an injectable medication to numb the area off camera. Lee then sliced into the cyst center with a blade. She claimed she made the incision as tiny as possible so the man's face would not be scarred. Lee used scissors to widen the incision even more, then put her thumb and index finger on either side of the growth to prepare the discharge of its contents. Lee told the man, I'm going to give it a tiny squeeze, like granny pinching your cheek. As soon as Lee applied pressure, a thick gray substance erupted in little chunks from the incision. She quickly pulled the pus, which was made up of trapped dead cyst, which was made up of trapped dead skin cells, on the man's cheek so it wouldn't come into touch with his lips. Her goal was to extract as much of the cyst contents as possible without making a larger incision and scar. There were still some contents left, so Lee injected more numbing solution and removed the remaining bits with scissors and tweezers. She finally sewed up the incision to allow it to heal. Number 3. Multiple cysts from a man's scalp. Dr. Sandra Lee shared a cyst popping marathon on Friday, in which she removed five growths from one man's head in less than 20 minutes. Lee demonstrated how she removed the numerous pillar cysts in a video posted on May 7. The most frequent type of cyst, the most frequent type of cyst, is a pillar cyst, which develops on the scalp. Pillar cysts affect less than 10% of the population and are usually non-cancerous. Pillar cysts arise when keratin, a protein found in skin cells, fills them, as previously reported by Insider. The cysts resembled small scallops when Dr. P plucked them from the incisions she made in the man's head in her most recent film. Dr. P used a scalpel to make a two-inch incision on top of one of the cysts to treat a man in the video. The famous, the famous dermatologist injects a numbing medication around each growth before treating a patient, albeit she didn't display it on camera. She then proceeded to deepen, she then proceeded to deepen and expand the incision with her scissors before inserting tweezers into the hole. Lee was able to grab the full cyst and take it all out at once. After some prodding around, Lee used her scissors to remove a tiny sac that held the cyst in place before sealing the cut with stitches. Although the second pillar cyst was three times at large, although the second pillar cyst was three times as large as the first, Lee utilized the same approach to release the white and bulbous mass. She stated it looked like a plum after Dr. P removed it. She went through the procedure three more times to get rid of the remaining pillar cysts. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.